And I feel one thing I want to share with you all. The greatest destroyer of peace today is the cry of the innocent unborn child. For if a mother can murder her own child in her own womb, what is left for you and for me to kill each other? Even in the scripture it is written, even if mother could forget her child, I will not forget you. I have curved you in the palm of my hand. Even if mother could forget, but today millions of unborn children are being killed. And we say nothing. In the newspapers, you read numbers of this one, that one being killed, this being destroyed. But nobody speaks of the millions of little ones who have been, have been conceived with the same life as you and I, with the life of God. And we say nothing. We allow it. To me, the nations who have legalized abortion, they are the poorest nation. They are afraid of little one. They are afraid of the unborn child. And the child must die because they don't want to feed one more child, to educate one more child. The child must die. And here I ask you, in the name of these little ones, for it was that unborn child that recognized the presence of Jesus when Mary came to visit Elizabeth, her cousin. As we read in the gospel, the moment Mary came into the house, the little one in the womb of his mother lived with joy, recognized the Prince of Peace. And so today, let us here make a strong resolution. We are going to save every little child, every unborn child, give them a chance to be born. And what we are doing, we are fighting abortion by adoption. And the good God has blessed the work so beautifully that we are saved thousands of children and thousands of children have found a home where they are, they are loved, they are wanted, they are cared. We have brought so much joy in the homes that there was not a child. And so today I ask, since His Majesty is here, and the, before you all who come from different countries, let us all pray that we have the courage to stand by the unborn child and give the child an opportunity to love and to be loved. And I think with God's grace, we will be able to bring peace in the world. We have an opportunity here in Norway. You are, with God's blessing, you are well to do. You are, but I'm sure in the families, many of our homes, maybe we are not hungry for a piece of bread, but maybe there is somebody there in the family who is unwanted, unloved, uncared, forgotten. There is love. Love begins at home. 